Hi there. In this quick video I'm going to replace this trim around the fog light with the one with a chrome element on it. Let me show you the codes for the new ones with the chrome on them. This is the code and it should have a uh, one there at the end. And that is the other code for the right side with a two. And you might be wondering why this is scratched up. Because somebody sold this to me as original and they are aftermarket. Yeah. Anyway, be very uh, cautious when you you buy something and look really well at the, the pictures. I saw this but I thought, eh, who knows what happened there. It was the brand that they rubbed away. Anyway, let's get these things on. In theory, to get this thing out, you put your finger in here and pull on it and start wiggling it around until you get it out because as you can see it has some hooks on the lower side. But if that doesn't work, also you can uh, through the holes in the upper part reach the hooks the lower part of the upper hooks and pull them down just a tiny bit but do not break them but i'm going to attempt uh, just with my finger here and wiggling it around in theory it should come out a, a little bit like this and like this so yeah let's get to it hopefully we we have it the easy way Okay, so let me explain what I'm trying to do. Through the hole, I need to reach the cutout in the clip. You can see this. And when I push it down, the clip will bend. And that is what I'm going to do with the two upper clips. This and this, which are here and here. This one, you need to be at a really weird angle to get it. I don't think I managed to get it at this point. Nope, not yet. Maybe I'm... yeah, here it is. And when I push down you can see I'm already loose at this point. And let's get the second one. Just missed it. Do not bend them too much as they will break. I'm telling you that for sure. Yeah, so this one is undone, but I cannot manage to... Okay, that's the second one in here. As you can see at this point, we are kind of loose already. And it's just a matter of uh, wiggling this out. And here it is. Okay, let's put the chromed one back in place. You push it in here first. It should... Uh, latch in place there are two holes over there and in theory then you just uh, continue to push it in place but this being a crappy aftermarket part this will be way more complicated and way more annoying than it should be that's why I hate buying parts like this but I kind of got scammed and yeah, it was too complicated this time to to, to unscam. So I just rolled with it. But as you can see, it doesn't really even lock in place. So <laughs> yeah, I will tinker it with it a little bit and see why it doesn't lock in place. An original one, it would have been already locked in. So yeah. About half an hour later, still trying to put these things in, heat it up with this, uh, the clips, bend it, uh, them outwards so they hook better. But I think they just cannot reach the, the desired place because this was too, too wide. So I used this file, luckily I had it on me, uh, took as much as I could without endangering uh, any of the structure and making sure that they still should do the job and now I'm going to try again uh, whew, 
yeah. Do not buy aftermarket uh, parts. Do your best to buy original parts always. These things just do not fit. They just do not care. They produce them, but they don't care if they fit or not. Yeah, this almost hooks now in place, but still doesn't. It fits, but it doesn't hook. But we are close now. Bent these things even more by heating them up. File these things down even more. And I hope it fits now because I, I cannot do anything else. This is the level that I needed to bend these things. Now three of them are clipping. This one not yet, so I bent it even more. Yeah, my baby isn't taking this uh, anymore either, so I will put this on and hope for the best. Finally, this side is done. The other side I just do not have time today to finish it. Uh, I cannot stress how much you should not buy aftermarket parts like this. As you can see there is a gap in here, but luckily yeah, it's, it's in place, it, it finally is in place. And the idiot that sold this, uh, it, it fakes, I, I buy, bought the uh, original and he sent me aftermarket. Even used some uh, paint. Uh, a marker to to mark these things so I cannot just take it off with simple alcohol I need to use some solvent so Ooh, or use paint over it or a marker or that's yeah I dealt with an idiot and it's my fault I should have bought from a, a good store and anyway finally it's done so yeah I will probably show you when I also do the other one and fix this stupid thing but that will be another day. I, I wasted way too much time today here. And finally the other side is finished. Tada! Yeah, ignore the dirty car. I had a highway trip, so yeah. Uh, and uh, what do we see there? Yeah, it's a screw. This one was even a worse fit than the other one. So I decided that uh, each of them should have a screw in this corner just to make sure I'm not going to lose them. If I ever replace them, the hole in this will not be seen. So I don't care. The car is not affected at all. Only these cheap stupid things are affected and uh, I'm not bothered by that at all at the moment. So yeah, uh, the guy that sold me these things instead of original ones can suck my beep and uh, manage to use them in the end although they have uh, each one of them one of those screws but they are black and I don't care at this point anymore I'm too annoyed so yeah thank you very much for watching hopefully you found this video useful in which case uh, please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye